Rock Breaker Studios! Yo-ho-ho -ho and a bottle of rum. Do you fancy yourself some of the best pirates around? Do you and your crew think you're ready to take on other crews? Do you alone fancy yourself a good salesman, a good captain, or a good cannoneer? Arr, then this race be for ye. The race of legends. The most comprehensive race around. A weekly competition based on skill, cunning, tactics. Arr. If you fancy yourself a true buccaneer, either you solo or your crew alone, come to raceoflegends.com and participate in the most epic battle you'll be in. Race against the clock, race against other crews, race against yourself. <laughs> be it once you find our webpage in the description below, you'll have to follow some simple rules. As for the Race of Legends Co, it is simple. We will give a weekly starting destination. You start at R. <laughs> and then you go to Bananas. <laughs> bananas, bananas, bananas. And then you head to Kraken. <laughs> the Race of Legends code dictates that. Number one, crews will compete in a race from one location to two other locations, one outpost and one fortress, and back to the starting line in ships of the same class. Outpost first, remember, fortress second. Number two, when arriving at the designated outpost, each crew member must chug an entire pint of grog while in the tavern before returning to their ship. That means you drink your grog inside the tavern. Number three. When arriving at a designated fortress, the entire crew must touch land, die, and be on the Ferry of the Damned at the same time before respawning. That does not entail that you die at the same time. Keep that in mind. Number four. Each crew will have a different color of flame that they must use to light the beacon at the finish line. This flame can be carried with your crew or on your ship. Either one is fine. Just remember, if you do not have the correct flame, you cannot claim victory. Number five, the start of the race will be a gunpowder barrel detonated at a safe range ahead of competing ships. If there is no gunpowder barrel available, one of the camera crew or the dread pirate Doug will fire a shot to signal the start of the race. Number six, each crew may fire only cursed cannonballs at the opposing crew. Real cannonballs may be used against skeleton ships and the monsters only. That includes the Kraken and the Megalodon. Firing regular cannonballs at the opposing ship may or may not result in disqualification. Number seven. If your ship sinks, you may still attempt to complete the race. It is uh, encouraged, but not required. Numero 8. Gunpowder barrels may not be used against enemy ships. Sniping between ships is not allowed. But if you run into an opposing crew on land, do what you must. Just no shooting them while they're in the water. That is not fair. That is not fair for PvP or anybody else. Do not shoot a swimming opponent. Number 9. No boarding other cruise ships during the race. 
and no stealing supplies between races. Each crew will have a chance to get any needed supplies before the race begins. And finally, number 10, cheating results in forfeiture. The winning crew becomes the new Race of Legend Champions. Join us on the Discord, the Twitter, and everything else provided in the description below and the links below in the comments. I hope to see you there, and I hope to challenge you one-on-one, -on -one, because guess what? This is Dead Man, and I know how it's done. <laughs>